Hi, in the first of the silver and gold level drills, what we're going to do is take the cross counter drill that we've just seen above and we're going to add in some of the complexity that we did with the, the low opening. So, to start off, what we've got as Mark throws that punch is this, okay? So for now, we're going to do that a couple of times just to get loose, just to get used to moving. Always start at a level that you're already happy with and build the laser complexity on that. Okay, so what you'll remember, what we did earlier on, is we brought the other hands into play. So this time what we're going to do is as Mark throws that punch and I come in here, he's going to hit me on the head with this hand. Uh, nice and simple. If the opportunity is there, if I present him an opening, he's going to take advantage of it. See, unless you're actively closing that gap, then the opportunity for him to strike is always going to be there. Now, because I know it's coming, I am ducking my head down a long way, and that's a good habit to get into. If you want to practice these drills with a tennis ball on your chin, that again will force you to, to remember to keep your chin down. So, in this particular drill, what we're going to look at now, the next layer of complexity is exactly what you would expect from the drills above, is that I'm going to try and stop that hand from hitting me. So, it's a really simple build of layer upon layer that allows us to evade the initial punch, to throw out our single time counter, and also to maintain our own safety as we do it by covering any strike that may come from this side. 